But we didn't come here to fuck fat bitches. We did not. Sorry, girls. Uh, Saturday morning, bright and early. Power washers here. I'm going to start with the dirtiest motor. And that was from the, the, the teardown from the last vlog. We're powered by Honda today, guys. We're powered by Honda. Wow. It's been a wild week. It's been a wild ride. Looks like I'm wearing the same hat I am. I love this hat. Uh, okay. So, power washing four motors today. First place will get put on an engine stand. I got to run upstairs and grab that. We'll tear down first place on the engine stand. Power wash that on the engine stand. And then move forward towards removing the oil pan, side cover, valve cover, oil pump, so on and so forth. So we can make the improvements that need to be implemented into first place. We have a ported four piston oil pump. We have brand new OEM hardware, which would be guides, chains, baffles, so on and so forth. Are you guys enjoying these vlogs? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you, I don't know, just soup that we're actually in another giveaway. And also I'm pumping out content. Whatever your comments say is basically the mood, the mood. So 40 just showed up, but he's super fly. My son had a pair of white Puerto Rico sneakers. No cap. He got, at, he got out of Dodge before I could grab the camera to show you these sneakers. Them shits had Daddy Yankee PR Parade written all over them. Nobody loves Puerto Rico like 40. Shout out to him. He's from Ponce, born and raised. My man. He put somebody in a fridge one time. TMI, Aki. Too much information. Let's start gunning. All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. All right. All right, guys. Yep, all right. All right, guys. All right. All right, so. Okay, boys. You got something to say, 40? Yeah. Hi. We got first place here. Got to go on an engine stand. We have all the motors lined up. This was the dirtiest one out of all of them. So I'm going to start with this one. I got lucky because it's right out front. This guy here, we'll wait for that. Got four gallons of gas. Power washer's all geared up. Check out the Type R power washer, Cabron, red top. It's the same color as the you know, Honda Civic valve covers. Check out the red top. Mira ese cabron. Got gas, got the water running to it. Seb is on the way with Frank Dukes. It's a beautiful day. It's like in the mid 70s, so he's going to enjoy a nice cruise. Um, and that's it. Um, I had no time to grab that steel wool that my boy uh, Johnny was telling me about. So I'm going to end up just using the gray scuff pads. I'm going to help the motor first by scuffing it and then power washing it. Maybe. I should test just power washing it right away, but you see all that grime right there, all that built up stuff into the aluminum? I can scuff that out with the gray pad and some degreaser, might add some soap to the water too, just to help it. But let's really get all of this nasty stuff here now. Let's show, we're gonna have a nice before and after here. A nice before and after. But that, that motor over there is the cleanest one. Might make that fifth place. That's the cleanest one. I can't believe it. All right. Uh, let me get all my supplies ready. I'm going to work right here. It's too sunny out there. A little too hot. I'm just going to spray the degreaser on. Let that sit. I'm going to wash the garage anyway. It's time for a nice wash. So guys, I'm just going to do one of these right here. Let's just do a nice example. Don't use red and don't use this on the valve cover. You're not touching anything on the valve cover. You just get some gray 
or try that um that triple four steel wool or quadruple four zero 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 steel wool or four zeros didn't have time to get it and we're just gonna do stuff like this we're just gonna help this motor okay I may remove all the tensioners you know what that's what I'm gonna do let me remove all the tensioners because you can't use any of this stuff let me remove that real quick try hard hockey one hander don't kill nobody okay let's take this yeah that looks cleaner this is all rusted and nasty let's just throw this right into the scrap pile guys this is where you go to die, okay? I'm gonna go back to scrubbing this. Just doing my absolute best with the gray pad. And then um, moving this motor towards the uh, power washer and then finishing uh, the cleaning process here. Corey, okay? Yeah, right. We have to go a different step here. So I just wanted to test how the power washer would do against the dirtiest motor we have. I have it on the strongest nozzle, which basically, yeah, the red one is serious. You, you'll, you'll mark the ground. And I can't get rid of this. It has to be scuffed out. So I'm going to pull this motor. Um, see how it cleaned up a little bit there, but it's not doing it there. Um, I'm going to have to pull the motor. Well, I don't know if yeah, 40 might do it here. We're gonna have to scuff this because the aluminum is bad on this one. We're gonna have to scuff this with the red with some degreaser and see how far it gets us. 40, do a little bit right here. A little bit right here. A little bit better. You can see it shining up right there. Not bad. All right. Let's just do what we got to do. Coming right now. First place. So we're gonna, that's good, set. We're going to set up the engine uh, stand now for first place. And uh, Forty's been gunning at this thing here with the... Uh, I guess he got some awesome from next door. Don't yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Better? No, it, it's good, no? Forty. Don't kill okay. yourself. That's it. It, it <laughs> is what it is. It cleans up as best as we could. He did good. He did great. Yeah, it definitely looks better than it was. So we'll power wash as many of these as possible, and then um, start stripping this motor. This motor is finished. This is as clean as we're gonna get this one without actually painting it. I just know that the internals are great. It may not be a looker, but it's a fucker. How about that? So, while me and Seb, Seb's here, say hi everyone. What's up everybody? Um, while me and Seb vlog tearing this down, I'm gonna swap these plates and put it onto the next motor. But you could already tell that that one's gonna be much cleaner too. This is the worst one out of all five this way, but inside it's an absolute gem. So I'll swap out those plates. We'll give 40 that motor to work on. I told him to work in the shade. He doesn't want to listen. That guy loves to make his life hard. I give him the stool to sit down. Um, I just really want him to work smart. He's old but, school, bro. Yeah, I just, I, I, I just feel bad. I, I like, you, you know me, Seth. I work smart, not hard. Mm -hmm. Never work hard. I'm hard working, but there's always a better way, bro. There's always a smarter, better way, more efficient way. So I want him to work in the shade. I want him to take his time. We don't need to vlog every single motor with him scrubbing it, right? We have the clip. Um, we'll help him out, set that one up, and then the next clip you'll see you'll see uh, me and Sebi tearing down this motor. Made your life a little easier, guys, not having to go through that whole process again from the last vlog. So we're basically just tearing it down like we did. So manifold is off. Um, 
Took the coil pack wires out. Save that extra clip there. I'll take off this power steering setup. Maybe now, pause, Seb can give you guys a better angle at how I was doing. Pause, pause, pause. Mm. Better angle on how I was doing it is crazy. It is crazy. Junk. Followed with the bolts. Junk. We're going to junk this tensioner too. RBB4. I already see differences. This one has a bracket. A nice little, oh, it's, it's got the two washers built in. The RBB2-3 just has the washers. So maybe Honda did that so you don't lose the two washers. Pretty smart. Should have should have thought of it the first time. Uh, ba 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 Rest of the manifold got to come off. The header here. We got our rust, rusted 12s. Got to be careful. I'm going too fast. Make sure I push against the bolt because it sucked to strip that at this moment. Garbage. You guys honestly know the rest. I'm going to take off the rest of the manifolds, exhaust and intake, clean up all the hoses. Going to take this water pipe out because um, this is first place and it's getting something else. But for the most part, tear this entire thing. Damn, look at the blue right here, Seb. I don't know if you could see it. So if I tap behind it, does it focus? Yeah. Look how clean that bolt is, that blue, that Honda blue. Nice. All right. I got a complete. Well, well, well. What are you doing here? So if you're wondering why is this motor getting this kind of treatment, it's because we have the K-tuned water neck. So this stud has to come out. And you see how I always tell you, Seb, that there's a smarter way to do things? If I would have just put the gear wrench side on right now, it'd be like this. See? So there's always a better way. But sometimes you just have to figure it out. I know granted, look, we got the stud out. This is a hard thing to do, especially not every stud is going to be this easy to remove. But like I said, if you slow down, I didn't slow down. I just started working. If you slow down, there's always a more efficient way. But removing these two studs, this motor is going to sit outside with degreaser on it. And we're not even going to waste our time with um, just a regular hose. Just going to go straight to power washing it. Mistake learned. Now put the gear wrench in. Thread your 12 on backwards. Thread this 12 on the correct way. There's always a smarter way. me nigash very bad this motor's completely ready is it recording I didn't hear the beat um, this motor's completely ready to begin the degreasing stage I took all the studs out of the exhaust took the studs out of the coolant side here took the studs out of the water pump and I'm gonna leave these two here for the intake manifold so right now the smartest thing to do, sit it outside, a lot of simple green, don't touch it, and then just go right to power washing. Oh, 
we working on a Saturday. No hanging it. motor is angled down so no water gets all the way inside of the valve. When we do the other side we'll flip it over. But this one's gonna get painted. So all the way complete is these two. These two motors are all the way complete. So what's going to happen to these two motors? I ordered four sets of Skunk 2 port blockers. That's what's going to go on those. Then those motors will be ready to ship to whoever wins them, correct? This one and this one still need cleaning. First place right now is getting really like, you know, scrubbed up. And then I'm going to get that one ready for paint. I'm very lucky, right? Because I have a brand new oil pan here. And I'm getting a skunk two side cover. So guess what? I'm just going to paint everything. It'll make sense when I paint it. You'll understand. I don't need to change the fill. I don't need to block off the filter. The only thing I'm going to take off and block off. I have a dummy um, VTEC solenoid. I'm just going to paint everything silver with everything on there. Only thing I'm going to do is remove sensors and a couple of things like that. But for the most part, we have two motors finished. Block off plates will come in for those. We'll clean up these two. We'll be completely done with second, third, fourth, and fifth, right? And then I'll just completely focus only on first place. I'll start getting all the nice parts in. I'll tear it down after it's painted. After it's painted, I'll tear it down because all I have to do is take off the um, oil pan and the side cover. I've got a valve cover. I'm going to simply swap that. But we're still working, guys. We're still here, kicking ass. That's three ready to go, folks. One, two, three. Forty's working on the last one. He basically cleans inside the cylinder head. We take them outside. Me and Sebi power wash the rest. But this motor is the main focus after today. So we're just going to make sure that these four guys are all set. They're all safe. They're all clean. Got no water inside of... Uh, the pockets of the valve. It's been a crazy day, right, Sebby? Crazy day, man. Good day. Last one, bud. Last one, Sebby. Finally. What a long day. Well worth it. We got all five motors cleaned. That looks awesome, bro. Looks crazy, right? Hell yeah. You got 5,000 horsepower here, bud. 5,000. At least 5,000. Not 5,000, 1,000 horsepower, I'm sorry, right? Call it 5,000. Call it 5,000, why not? I botched it. But this guy, Seb, is the main corporate right here. We're going to... I really want you guys to see how ugly this thing is right now. Pay attention to all of this. Because when it's sitting on that nice cart right there, Seb, it's going to look like mm. Mona Lisa's pussy. That thing got to be beautiful. Okay. Thing gotta be that pussy gotta be good. Most famous bitch. Huh? All right, Seb, you want to get us out of here? It's been a long vlog. Don't forget to mention the giveaway. Some people don't know how to join, so on and so forth. Let's swap over. Pause. Get you some good lighting here, bud. You taking care of it. Shout out to Tato Bien. Let me show my man some love, man. A one. Five Ks. One to fifth. Number one, $60 a bag, get yourself a hat, a lanyard. I stashed the sticker. Let, let me go get you the, the sticker. Let me, let me get you the sticker, man. We gotta make this, we gotta make this right. Past winners. Oh my God, I ruined this clip. I was supposed to just have the stickers ready. What an idiot! Oh, here you go. There it is. Most important, get your ticket. Keep that ticket, man. Really important.
It'll be yours. Yes, sir. We love you guys. We appreciate you. You got to do the keep gunning thing. Keep gunning.